So this is the electrical bolt coming in. As you can hear, a very big difference compared to the, the clong bolt. A good morning. I'm here at the Klong Sensep and I'm waiting for the ferry boat because today I'm going to show you some new transport in Bangkok. There's a new electrical boat that goes in the direction of Minburi. As you know, I'm always happy to inform you guys about new transport here in Bangkok. And lately, I mean, they're doing a lot of constructions on the MRT, but nothing really opened up. So we are on our way to the Bangkapi area. Kapunkap. By Bangkapi, na ba? Okay, ba? Bangkapi. taking the boat now so let me show you a little bit about the ride here So here you have a mosque and a temple next to each other and you have these little boats that they use to cross the canal. Bun Rung station and here you have to make a switch towards the electrical boat. 
So when you arrive here at the Watsi Bunrung Pier, you just have to wait for the electrical boats to, to bring you to Minburi. So this is the schedule of the electrical boat. They started in the middle of February. So this is the electrical boat coming in. As you can hear, a very big difference compared to the, the Klong boat. And there is now a six month period that you can try it for free. It's definitely not the same kind of boat that they use at Hoa Lampong. So this boat will operate every day from 5.30 in the morning until 8.30 in the evening. So it took me about half an hour to get from Asok to the Watsi Bunrung station. I'm interested to see how fast these boats are going because this stretch is uh, definitely longer than the stretch that I just did. So it's 10:30. Uh, Let's see how long it takes. The advantage of course is that it's super quiet as you can not hear. So this trial period they're starting off with 12 boats and for the next six months starting from February this is uh, free of charge and then they will decide what the price is going to be. So they are actually thinking about maybe keeping it for free. Yeah, so this is definitely the terminus for the Klongs and Sep boats and it's actually interesting to see how uh, many of these boats there are here. <laughs> so it's fun to sit on the new kid on the block, right? Well, the advantage is I don't have to worry about wind distortion because we are not going that fast. Yeah, so this is the first time that there is a, a transport on this canal, this part of the canal, so the regular boats 
they don't go here normally. So it's actually a really nice and relaxed boat ride. So for me this is also a unique opportunity to see this part of the city from the Klom. So this boat is running parallel on the orange MRT line. So there is a sluice here and I guess the boat is not uh, able to go under it. So we have to go to the next pier and then uh, continue our journey. Koku <laughs> Yeah, it's a whole adventure.
as you can see there's a bit of overcast the dry season finished so we're getting into the wet season now but uh, I mean nobody knows nowadays what the seasons are gonna bring because the dry season was pretty wet to be honest Okay, so here we're waiting for the other boat to come. I will make a quick shot of the boat that we just had. So if you just want to try out the boat, this would be a perfect opportunity to head back. Uh, this trip was about 45 minutes to get here. It's a... Uh, quite slow I'm not gonna sugarcoat it <laughs> but I think especially in the weekends if you just want to have a nice trip this is a very good opportunity to to do something different so our second pier is over there so one of the goals was also to go and check out how you can go to the Quan Rian floating market which is between here and Minbori You see the solar panels on the roof. Sorry, help. Oh, you have a nice shot of the other boat as well. Yeah, I guess it's just not possible for these boats to go through the sluice. They might be a little bit too high. Here you see the technology. Yeah. It's a very nice little area here. I mean, there's so many side canals as well. <laughs> so this here is the Quan Riam floating market and I've been here before one time with Mirella which is uh, quite a journey to get here but yeah with the electrical boat you can get close by Actually, one of the reasons that I wanted to take this boat was to see if you can get to this uh, floating market. So I'm not sure if they have a dedicated pier here. So here in the weekend, these are all little restaurants that are on the water here. Quite a nice place. You have this distinctive bridge here and then down here you have all the market space, the marketplaces. And here you have the temple. Yeah, this is a nice place to go to in the weekend and I'm definitely gonna come one time with Mirella here. I don't see a ferry pier.
now we are well on the way to the Minburi district's office, which is the end station of this boat. The canal is very broad over here. So we are close to the Minburi district office. So there in front, that's the pink MRT line. So this is the Minbori Market Pier. Yeah, so it's 11.35, I left at 9.45 in Asok. It's one hour and 50 minutes to get here. I was in Minburi in the beginning of the year. And the reason that I was in Minburi is because I wanted to give an update regarding the pink and the orange MRT line. So this is actually quite a nice location. So there in the back, you have the orange MRT and here to the left, this is the pink MRT line. So hereby I will conclude my video about the new electrical boat. Um, I think it's interesting, but because it's a bit slow, it means that it takes a lot of time if you wanna use it. So, uh, yeah, I, if I would come to this area, I would probably find other ways of transport. And especially when later the MRTs are going to be ready, it's going to be much more easier to, to get here. I hope you enjoyed this update regarding the new electrical boat that goes to Minbury. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line. I see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh, Oh, 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 oh,